Huey because he knows that he can never taper. He's, he's just bluffing. He can't tell the market the truth. We do expect that there's going to be a taper tomorrow, correct? Oh, we do. So the market that lives by QE dies by QE. And, you know, people are starting to factor in tapering. And if the Fed tapers, this market's going a lot lower. I don't think they're going to taper. I think they're just bluffing. I think it's all talk. Oh, I think the on, Fed knows bluffing. that they've built this phony economy and they're going to keep inflating it. So they're going to keep talking about tapering. Uh, and they're going to talk about why they're going to do it in the future, but why they're not going to do it right now. But they're going to keep making up excuses why they can't do it. Right. And if they actually do taper, they're going to be untapering very quickly, and that's going to be very problematic for their credibility. Oh, my God. Maria, I think the most amusing thing I've heard today right. is that the all Fed right, is doing a fake out on all this. The FOMC expected to, by some at least, to taper its $85 billion monthly bond purchases by $10 billion. Economists expect the Fed to begin cutting the 85 billion that it buys in bonds and mortgages every month by about uh, 10 billion. I say, I say they'll cut these, the uh, money printing by about 10 billion dollars, moving down to 75 billion a month. Uh, markets expect a taper from the Federal Reserve, and actually a little bit bigger than I would have thought, but their average is 15 billion dollars. Participants at CNBC's Federal Reserve survey expect 14 and a half billion dollars to be taken off the table. Now, J.P. Morgan analysts have been the most hawkish out there. They're predicting the central bank could taper bond purchases by as much as $20 billion. Barclays, though, expects the Fed to draw back by $15 billion, 10 from Treasury purchases and 5 from mortgage-backed securities. Goldman Sachs, though, is staying in the middle of the road, predicting 10 to $15 billion worth of tapering. I think, you know, when the Fed gets a good look at what's happening with oil prices, what's happening with stock prices going down now, real estate prices now turning south, uh, corporate earnings going down, I think the employment picture is going to darken. I think this is another reason for the Fed not to taper, which ultimately might be what saves the market uh, from a bigger decline, is going to be well, all the, the new inflation and the fact that the tapering talk... Uh, is put back uh, to sometime next year, and then again they'll come up with another excuse why they can't Although paper. You're already seeing the anticipation of the Fed taking the training wheels off the economy. Even though I believe the Fed's going to do more QE, and even if they make the mistake, you know, in their mind of tapering in, in September, which I don't think they're going to do, but even if they do that, they're going to have to undo it probably by the first quarter of 2014 and really open up the monetary spigots even further. But I don't think it's what they should do. What they should do is stop all QE, and they should start shrinking their balance sheet. But what they should do, and what I think they're going to do, are two entirely different things. Right. Because the Fed is going to act for political reasons, short-term expediency. They will never do what's right for the long-term health of the U.S. economy. Well, whatever. You know, the Fed has worked pretty hard to get to this position. That is, they've set themselves up to begin the taper. They wouldn't begin if they didn't expect they were going to be able to continue. But, you know, there may be something in the statement that surprises people. Mm -hmm. Or maybe the magnitude of the tapering will surprise people. Federal Reserve decision. What are we getting, Steve Leisman? No taper. The Federal Reserve did not taper. 40, 40 billion per month in mortgage-backed securities, 45 billion per month in treasuries will continue to be purchased. The Fed says taking into account fiscal restraint, the committee sees improvement in the economy from a year ago, but it decided to await more evidence that progress will be sustained before adjusting the purchases. Wow, no taper. Just to reiterate here, the Federal Reserve surprising most everybody out there. Plus, Bob Bazzani, you put out a note this morning from the floor of the stock exchange, and you're saying the tapering expectations were remarkably consistent. That pretty much everyone you spoke to was expecting a taper of like 10 to 15 billion. Now that they did not get their expectations, what are they all saying? What are they doing? They are just shaking their heads down here. I, I mean, there was.